Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars Solo set review. And this one is on Han Solo's Landspeeder. So, um, from the box here, you see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, the new border design. And then Disney logo, picture of the set in action, all the minifigures included. <coughs> and then you see set age group 7 through 12, set number 75209. It has 344 five pieces <laughs> and then at least keeping up with that kind of thing where it's not profile picture but of like in action and all just like from the last Jedi ones yeah. and on the back you see <coughs> sorry uh, it in a parked position and all the features of it didn't you yeah. <clears throat> and on to the booklet on the front of the booklet saying the picture is on the front and everything on the back how, how to win on the online survey with all the pieces that come with the set after Lego life after the latest build of figures after all the other solo and springtime sets, which I'll review soon, and all the minifigures included with each one. <clears throat> the last building steps. <clears throat> and now on to the minifigures. First off is Han Solo himself. Well, the new Han Solo himself. <clears throat> so his torso printing of which pretty good and all and the face print and hair piece just about the same as in previous ones and also that small blaster and all just kind of a common sign with Han Solo but at least another variation of it of it and there he is from the back with a double side face so guess Next up is a new character, Kira. I'm not sure how to say that. And she of which also has some good printing. But also that uh, hair piece in dark brown, which is good. <clears throat> and there she is from the back. Along with a double sided face. <clears throat> and next up, a Corellian, or last but not least, Corellian Hound. Not sure what that is, which I'm not so sure about. But at least this sculpting work, pretty good. At least for the top part, good sculpting, and also some nice printing on the front as well. And can attach to two studs like any other dog mold. And of course, these also come in the Malach's Lance Peter, which I'll review soon. And now, on to the main part of it, which is the Lance Peter itself. At least I think pretty good set or pretty cool model that this is and you're probably saying there's just is asymmetric and all but that's okay it's supposed to be asymmetric like in the set pictures for solo it is and in the trailers also but at least it's kind of a good asymmetric and at least on this one side pretty good snot technique but like with those like curvy pieces at least a little bit of greebling there but on the other side of which a lot of good greebling detailing and but the front part of it one of those those look pretty good with some good greebling and everything but from the top is one of those like printed uh, pieces which we haven't been seeing in sets a lot 
cockpit area. A couple chairs to like sit both minifigures in and also a couple levers for Han to use. <coughs> Sorry. But at least one good one of the good parts of it is this or the, this design over here. Like a couple large fins for it to use. But I think the shaping of it is accomplished pretty goodly. And from the back are a couple of like jets and all to like push it forward. And, and as it's with these, you can like pull out here. And this is supposed to be like energy crystal or something. Not so sure. But these plenty of good designs around this set. But like one of the main features is can like push pull this hood part up and there's some accessibility like a slot to hold a, a wrench piece and an extra area for another like missile which is a good feature which most sets really don't do much of in here and you can also take this whole part probably like an engine part of it with those things from the Kylo Ren figure with the lightsaber and all. At least that. Pretty cool and interesting. And yes, and the ability to rolls pretty well with the like small wheeling pieces and everything. And of course from the back are the like flip or spring loaded launcher pieces that fire like so. <coughs> And so, the, the size of it for the price. Uh, so let me get out a few other $3 sets from the past. Like the Imperial Assault Hover Tank from Rogue One of 2016. And Resistance Transport Pod from 2008, 17. And also the like recent desert skiff from twenty early twenty seventeen. Oh, and one more just a second. Is the flash speeder from twenty fifteen. So the size of it compared to all these other ones. You see it's kinda of about the same size as resistance transport pot but a little shorter than most of the other ones so I, so I think this should have been like 25 or even 20 dollars if I'm not mistaken but of course it's kind of, but at least size kind of it matters though and that's about it there. And, and now also to compare with uh, Luke's Lance Beater from 2017 or at least 2014 with the other Cantina set. At least a little bit shorter and but this was 20 it has some good wheels on the bottom other than with those things which are often kind of nice but at least it's a different kind of lance beater but i think i'll go over more of that in the malachas lance beater review which i'll review soon and yeah and let me get the characters into it and we'll call it a bit. There's Han. And then Kira. And then. And so now I can like fly right out and all. Like in the like that scene in the trailers and everything. And there's what the Coralian Hound there. And now on to the final verdict. 
At least, so, my word is that I think this is pretty good set for it as it is. But, like, it's kind of short on the smallish side for size and all. But at least it's a unique build, and it's probably going to be an important thing in the upcoming Solo movie. And if you're looking forward to Solo, a Star Wars story, then go ahead and pick this up. And that is, and if you want this to go along with Moloch's Landspeeder and the uh, Imperial Patrol Pal Pack, then go ahead and get it. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.